Good morning, pretty girls. It's All Things Pretty coming to you with a video sharing my December daily. So I know it's been a long time and I was sitting here having my morning cup of coffee and I said, you know what? Stop procrastinating and show the girls your December daily. So I think I will do that. So last year's December Daily, which I will show you really quickly. Sorry, y'all, I had to go and get it. You can see how prepared I was for this video. So my December Daily for last year was this B6 Traveler's Notebook style, which I absolutely love, love, love this notebook. And it was all fat and chunky, and I just loved it. It was my favorite. And it was actually the first time that I'd ever done a December daily, and I finished the December daily. So I'm not going to do an actual flip through on it, but I just wanted to just show you some of the pages. So that was the style of December daily for last year. So this year I was contemplating and trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And I've really been into doing the little golden books um, that you see on YouTube, people altering those. And I've made a couple and I said, you know what? I think I'm going to try a little golden book for the holidays. So that's what I did. So here is my December daily. And this is a spine. Now I got these fabrics and I cannot remember the seller, but she did um, like a fabric lot and you could buy them. And I think I paid like, it was like 40 bucks, but you got all these Indian printed, you know, gorgeous, gorgeous fabrics. It was so worth it. And then these beads I created myself. They were just these plain wooden beads that I added some glue on the end and I had little bowls of glitter and I just dipped them in the glitter. And I only wanted to do half because I wanted to show some of the wood. So that's how I did that. Love the spine. And then I just added some trim here. This is just some um, ribbon that came from like an American crafts pack. Now when I do my December daily, I like to decorate it as I go along because a lot of times I find if I pre-decorate the pages, then I feel stumped if I don't feel connected to that page on that particular day. So you'll notice that my pages are pretty basic until it is time for me to decorate for that day. So on the inside, I have this envelope pocket, just some washi tape, and this is some fabric. And I didn't want to use like traditional Christmas paper, so I tried to find something that, you know, I don't know, like these leaves still reminded me of holly, so I put them in there, and I didn't want too traditional so I tried to use coordinating papers that were not so much all holiday and not traditional red and green so this okay so this right here these are some images that I found and I cannot remember the website I'm really bad about documenting that but I found these images and I printed them on fabric, y'all. So these are actually fabric sheets. It's another one. It's fabric. And I haven't peeled off the backing yet. But I think inside here I have some. So I'll show you what they look like. So yeah, y'all. Print on fabric. Do something different. And I just have a little, okay, here's a piece of the fabric. So 
this is the fabric and I just thought it was so cool and I just sewed it in here and that's about it my book my book is pretty basic okay so this insert is an advent um, Bible devotional and I am a member of this uh, Facebook group called Princess Prayer Warriors and you should check it out. It's run by this lady called Pam Glass. She's a beautiful, beautiful um, woman, um, really sweet soul. And I will link her channel in the description box below. But in her group, Princess Prayer Warriors, we are doing this Advent devotional. And she provided us the link to go and get it for free. And so my book came in the mail and I added it to the center insert. This is the website you can go to unity.org to get your free devotional and so each day during the month of December we'll be doing some scripture writing and journaling related to that um, I also have an extra band here because I wasn't sure if I was going to want another insert or if I wanted to use this for Christmas cards that I received in the mail um, so any cards that I don't use on my pages, the extra cards can go in here. So that was my thinking for having an extra band. Another not so traditional colored page, but still holiday. This is just pocket that I stuck in here. Again, holiday, not so traditional colors. It's really what I wanted. And I love how this paper, paper like really connects with the colors in these pages. So I thought it was perfect. And that is the end of my December daily. So like I say, right now it's pretty basic. I like to decorate as I go. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Um, oh, one more thing that I want to try to show you. I'm going to try to show you without making y'all dizzy. So I've been seeing a lot of people um, post ways in which they store their De December daily material. So I decided to do that. And yesterday I went to Tuesday morning and I found this. Let's see if I can scoot back a little. Okay, so this storage bin was in the clearance section in Tuesday morning. It's damaged here. So I'm going to put some glue there and I'll probably um, add some trim to kind of hide that. But it was regular 16 and then 20% off and they gave me an additional 10 off. So I think I paid like 12 or 13 bucks for it. But I decided that this would be how I store my December daily stuff. So in here, I have some little tag things that I got from Target. These are from Tuesday morning. They're pocket tags. And then I saw someone post on um, a December daily group these cards. And these are from Dollar Tree, y'all. So I wanted to make sure I got these two were my favorite so I could put them in my December daily some way. I found this pack. That's what it looks like. This is from Tuesday morning. These stickers were from... Michael's or Joanne's, one of these. And then these were from Target. They are rub-ons. These are our puffy stickers from Target. And these are from Tuesday morning, the stickers but they have the 25 for the 25 days in Christmas. So I got those. And then this Tim Holtz foam stamp is $2.99. 
And then I just pulled this out of my stash as a stamp that I might use. So that's all that I have right now in my storage bin. And I would love to hear from y'all about how you are storing your December daily items. If you have any comments again please leave them below and if you haven't subscribed please hit that subscribe button for updates and um, project shares that I might post on my channel. Thank y'all for tuning in and I'll see you next time.